Oh, it feels so good. I've been waiting for this so long. Hello and welcome to The Soundtest Room. My name is Jakob Hake. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. Boy, am I happy today. I only have two favorite video editing apps and those are Pinnacle Studio and CuteCut Pro. And so far, there's been one thing I've been wishing for when it comes to CuteCut Pro 1080p export. And yesterday it arrived. Oh, it feels so good. I've been waiting for this so long. But not only that, QCAP Pro has also gotten quite an overhaul. So there's more stuff in it. To access the full 1080p export, you don't have to do much. Okay, so let's say you have your video loaded and you've also edited it. Now you want to export it and you want to export it in the highest possible resolution, high quality export. The only thing you need to do is the same thing you did before. Press this icon up here and then export to album. In the next pop-up window, we get the same three export options that we've always had. The difference is when you export something now, it automatically exports into 1080p and I've already checked it and it works. Back before this update, everything exported to 720 and that was the highest quality settings. I didn't try the lower settings because I always go for the highest one. So finally, 1080p export on my pip videos and for those of you who don't know what pip means it's basically picture in picture like this video here you've got my little face inside the square box and then you have the other video in the background now i know i'm going bonkers over the 1080p export but there's more this update really brought a lot to the mix and you can read up on the full list on the app store now another thing that made me go like <gasps> is the ability to automate effects, which is awesome. So let's say you have a video here. To actually add an effect for it, you double tap on the video and you get a list up down here. The next thing you do is to press the, uh, is it a magical wand? Let's call it the wand. The wand. When pressing the wand, you get another lane up here. To actually add your own custom transition effect stuff, you just press the plus and you get a list and then you press custom transition. And I want to show you how to automate stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the video a bit. Right, so here we have a few seconds of video. And it's not much. It's just basically a video of my uh, circuit board that I'm working on for the Echo Base DIY build project videos. And what I want to do now is to make a transition in saturation. I'm going to pull this little blue arrow here because I want my effect to transition throughout the whole three second clip here. And the one above is the starting point for that transition effect. I make sure that this is right at the beginning of the clip. And then I press this little tricolor logo here and I get this window. We're inside the color options. What we're going to do now is we're going to change the saturation. So you just tap that option and at the beginning of the clip I want it to be no saturation so basically black and white what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the end of the clip I'm going to go into the color options again go into saturations and pull it fully up when you're done double tap on the clip again to exit this editing mode so at the beginning of the clip we've got a black and white video at the end of the clip we've got a fully saturated video Now I tried to add another automation lane or effects or transition lane, but that's not possible. It tells me there's not enough space for another transition. I don't know if this is a limitation by the hardware of my iPad mini 2. And maybe I can add more if I have another iPad, but just being able to do this is very nice. So there's a lot of creative stuff you can now do with CuteCut Pro. And the 1080p export, finally, CuteCut Pro team, finally. Thank you so much for bringing this to iOS. I know that the Mac users have had that for a long time and I've been wondering why don't we have it too? And now we do, so thank you. Now there's a reason to why I only use Pinnacle Studio and CuteCut Pro. And if you want to know why, I suggest you go check this vlog right here in where I'm telling you all about it and the way I work and why I choose these two and in that vlog by the way I'm complaining over the fact that CubeCut Pro doesn't have 1080p so I'm gonna have to make a new vlog very soon saying yeah or something well I'm not gonna be complaining over the export functions anymore I'm not telling you to go buy this app but if you want it there's an app link down in the description so you can go check it out for yourself as usual Doug Woods Colin Sweeney and me Yoko back at the soundtestroom.com which is you a very productive week now go finger you 
your surfaces and have a lot of fun doing it.